All right, here we go. So you want to understand what the complete software development journey looks like, and you want it in under five minutes. It's a bit of a complex area, but I'm gonna try and distill this down for you so you can make sense of the whole process. But before we get started, I've actually made an individual video on each of these, so jump onto my YouTube channel to check it out. Stage one is discovery. Successful product development actually begins well before you start designing and coding. Our first goal is to understand the idea and make sure we can deliver on it for you. In the case of Spring, this is an exercise with a two to three hour workshop carried out in our office. Sitting down with clients, we look beyond the technicalities in the development and design, considering the business model, monetization, users, long-term objectives, and all those implications. To ensure we're on the same page, you'll get a work breakdown structure broken up into broad features, a high-level system architecture, and an estimate of the number of hours required. Consequently, this means an informed calculation of project cost. Second up is ideation. Assuming you're actually happy with the first stage, then the next stage will be to flesh these ideas out into detail. This is known by many names like requirements gathering, analysis, or ideation. Whatever you call it, the process is used to provide explicit clarity on what's being developed in the digital product and their priority. You want to create a relationship between idea generation, including human intuition and creativity, technology, including technology selection and its implementation, and market potential, including research and analytics. Stage three is product design. This is where all the work done to date comes to life in wireframes, prototypes, and finished design. This is a very exciting stage as all the work you've done so far finally looks like it's starting to form into something real. This stage is usually carried out by our professional UI and UX designers. Sorry, that's user interface and user experience in non-technical speak. The goal of this stage is a finished product designed to look beautiful and excite users. Stage four, this is where the coding happens. Fun for our staff, but slightly less exciting for our clients, is the coding phase. This is where coders work hard to take all that design that's been developed and build out back-end and front-end systems and make the digital product function. Where I say less exciting, it's just that it would be like watching your car being built piece by piece versus going to the showroom and picking it up with a nice big bow on it. You will have some work involved here in testing and making sure what's being built is actually what you are after. This brings me to step five, testing. Now, always carried out by qualified testers. This stage involves our team making sure that your product works according to the technical and business requirements covered off in ideation. This stage is not for the faint hearted though, as it's very repetitive and exhausting at times. However, in my opinion, it's one of the most important and undervalued parts of software development. As I said earlier, you will have to do a bit of testing too. A build version is delivered to you and you review the product, test the functionality and design, and then provide feedback. Finally, we get to step six, the launch and beyond. The launch is a fantastic time. You've done all that hard work and your product is ready to go to market. Once the mechanics of making the app live on the App Store or moving a web product to a production server is done, it's now time to strap in and start marketing and growing your business. Now, I won't say it's all smooth sailing, as growing a business and getting customers is not easy. However, with perseverance, passion, and a whole lot of grit, you'll have a product and a business that takes off. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Till next time.